with Derek Jenkins. He's a Mazda director of design. He's been with Mazda for over four years. He had an integral part of Shinari, Takara, and then the Mazda 6, as you see here today. I'm going to have him go over a few of the aspects. Derek, have at it. Thank you. Well, what we have here is our all-new uh, 2014 Mazda 6 sports sedan. And one of the key aspects of this vehicle is the, the face of the car. Um, you can see here we've really had a strong departure from our prior generation vehicle. The front end's a lot more upright, a lot more vertical. It makes the car a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more confident on the road. And uh, through the middle here, you can see we've kept this very strong horizontal theme. As well, we've got this flying wing treatment of our what we call our Mazda 5-point grille. And this is really our signature front end, and you can see how that ties into the lights. A lot of three-dimensional depth here. And again, gives the car this kind of eagle eye profile. Um, and then lastly, we've got a very pronounced lower diffuser here. This does a couple of things. Um, first of all, it's really good for aerodynamics. Um, and this is also legislated from a pedestrian impact safety standpoint. And lastly, it just looks cool. So um, that's a really, really important part of making the car look planted on the road. an entirely new a stance to the vehicle, partly through our entirely new Skyactiv platform um, that was possible. First and foremost, you can see we stretched the distance between the front wheel and what we call the A-pillar. That gives a lot more pronounced hood and makes the car look a lot more cab rearward. You can see here through the key body features of the front fender through the door, again, stretching that front wheel out, pulling the cabin back. When it comes back, we've got a lot of sculpting through the, the side, very subtle and clean, and then a very pronounced rear shoulder. Again, that gives the car kind of stance on the road, makes it look very, very stable. And then lastly, you can see here, we pulled our D-post much farther back than the prior generation. That makes the rear trunk look really short and gives the car this overall coupe-like profile. Next is the rear of the car, and in Mazda design, this can never be uh, an after afterthought. First thing we do, you can see we're very horizontal with our taillights. We keep this area very slim. What that does is create a visual width through the back of the car. Secondly, you can see this very three-dimensional blade-like trim detail. This adds a lot of quality to the back of the car, gives it a very precise look, and again, emphasizes that horizontal quality. You can see here a very pronounced 3D spoiler in the back. Again, really cool sporty feature for the car, but also improves aerodynamics. And lastly, just the sculpting of the rear bumper. You can see we go very wide through the rear, and this adds a lot of width to the car. It gives the car that stance um, in traffic when you pull up behind it. It makes the car look very stable and very sporty. 